Hi, my name is Elise, and let's go over a lesser-known instant film camera by Lamography. Just going over some of the basic features, you can see that it has a little bit more of a square body, but it has similar things. It has a viewfinder, it has a built-in flash, and it even has a um, reflective little selfie mirror, which in the Lomo doubles as the shutter button as well. From the top down view, you can see where the film exits the camera body. You can also see the little LED lights at the top indicating how many film shots you have left. And then you can also see it has a similar type of zone focus dial. Okay, looking at the bodies side by side from the front, you can see all those similar features that I just mentioned. And you can see that they're roughly the same size. And with the side profile, we see that they also have the uh, ability to attach a strap of some sort, either a neck strap or a wrist strap. And again, the side profiles are also very similar in size. And looking at the profiles from the bottom, again, the footprint is very similar. There is one major difference here though, and that is that the Lomo has a tripod mount. So you could put that on a tripod, which is great because um, it also comes with a remote where you can do a remote shutter. So if you wanted, you know, a larger group photo more than just at arm's length with a selfie, you can do that with the Lomo, which I think is a really cool feature. The Lomo does have a few more features than the Instax does. And we see these here on the back. So first there we have the flash. You can choose to turn the flash on or off. With the Instax, the camera chooses for you. And then we have the multiple exposure button. So you can do a double exposure on the Lomo, which is pretty cool. Let's you get a little more creative. And then we have exposure compensation. So you can choose the exposure to be a little lighter, a little darker. And then there's two different shutter options as well. It has automatic where the camera chooses. And then it has bulb, which means the shutter will stay open as long as you hold the shutter button down. And this will max out at about 30 seconds. So as we see, the cameras are similar in size and shape and weight. Um, the Lomo does have a few more features than the Instax. So if you're wanting to be able to get a little more creative and have a little more control with your instant film, the Lomo might be the choice for you. Uh, they do have a model in a comparable price range to the Instax starting around $90. Going up to oh, in the 200s, those ones have glass lenses though. So you're getting um, you know, a much more sturdier camera once you get into those higher price ranges. And you can go to their website and check out, you know, the varying ranges of instant cameras that they have. They also have the wide, they have a wide camera for the Instax wide film, and they have a camera that will support Instax square film. Um, again, giving you a little more control than just the Instax models do. So I wanted to do this comparison just because Instax is such a household name and, um, you know, you may not have known about the Lomo brand and the options there. So wanted to put that out there for you guys and let you know that that is an option.